Good morning, kind people of the internet. This past week I watched the movie Toy Story 4. And the reason I watched Toy Story 4 was because we downloaded Disney Plus. And the reason we downloaded Disney Plus was because it was the date that we drew out of our date jar, which is this jar right here, which we fill up with activities that we want to do. So Emily and I both put little pieces of paper in here with an activity written on it. And then a few times a week we draw out one of the pieces of paper and we do that activity. So her activity was get Disney Plus because she wanted to have it to watch some stuff on there. And I saw Toy Story 4 pop up and I said, ooh, I want to watch that because I think I've seen all the other Toy Story movies and I always am really blown away by them. And this one was no different. Um, I'm always amazed how they can make an animated movie so lifelike and have so much emotional depth. I thought the movie was hilarious, sad, heartwarming, and faced all sorts of moral questions throughout the movie too. Um, and so suspenseful. There's just so much to it. And they get so much out of the face, facial expressions that they use. Um, just the whole thing is, is really great. It makes me think about when I was younger. I mean, I, I watched a lot of animation. I mean, I would watch like Roadrunner and Tom and Jerry, things like that. And I loved those, but they didn't have the same emotional depth that things like Toy Story and other like animated things do now. So I thought that was really cool. And we also watched Mandalorian um, and Baby Yoda is totally irresistible. I also watched a concert on the YouTube page of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. Um, which was really great. They played Tchaikovsky and they had a guest pianist play concerto. And he also played a really famous Rachmaninoff piece as an encore. <laughs> So head to the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra YouTube page if you want to watch the whole concert. Emily and I also made a chocolate cake for my mom for Mother's Day. And it also frosted one night, so most of the plants that we planted in our garden died because we were very inexperienced garden makers. Although the kale did survive. Apparently kale can last through some amount of frost. And I've heard that it will actually be more flavorful, so I'm excited to see if that's actually the case. All right, I wanna share a clip of myself practicing a tune. Um, this is a standard called The Best Thing For You Is Me. And I've been working on the tune with, with a metronome for a while, and I wanted to sort of come up with a more interesting metronome. So I went into Logic and used some of their percussion loops that they had in there and layered a few in there in different tracks. And it's kind of fun to experiment with that and just kind of come up with your own backing track. So that's what I did. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 